In this demo video, we'll discuss about IP address setting in PLC or any other module. As you know that S7 1500 PLC come with a basic display. You can set the IP address of that PLC by basic display. That is okay. If you have that S7 1200 PLC or any other module like OING module, ET200 SP, that module you cannot set IP address by display because there is no display. So for that module you have to set IP address by other way and you can set that IP address by TIA portal. Let's see how we can set that IP address by TIA portal. I have connected a new PLC with my laptop and I want to ping the IP address 192.168.0.1 because some PLC come with the factory set that IP address 192.168.0.1 see it is not pinging means it has no IP address set now I want to show the IP address set in the project for the PLC sorry click on the device configuration okay now click on the propinet interface ethernet address okay go to right 192.168.0.1 that IP address set in the project now go to online access I have connected to the PLC by Ethernet USB converter click on the update accessible device see the accessible device one is found that has no IP address it has a MAC address no IP address set so to set the IP address, click on that accessible device, expand, okay, online and diagnosis. See that it has a limited parameter because it's connected by Ethernet ISO, not Ethernet TCP IP. By Ethernet ISO, you can access a minimum parameter, okay. So, to see to set the IP address click on the assign IP address here I am giving the IP address that I have set in the project okay and subnet same as the project okay now set IP address by assign IP address okay okay IP address set now if you click again on the update accessible device see accessible device is showing as 192.168.0.1 now if you go to the command promote see the it is pinging now IP address set and the PLC ok now if you going back to that accessible device and expand it See, it has more function right now that online diagnosis, program block, technology object, PLC data types. Because it's working now with Ethernet TCP IP. Earlier it was only working with Ethernet ISO. Because of that it's showing less function of that PLC. And that is only online diagnosis. Okay. Now you can do the all functionality of that PLC over TCP IP. By this way you can set the any PLC or module like OING module or ET200 SP. Now I will show how to set the IP address of any module PLC or uh, ET200 SP by using symmetric HMI. You have to connect that HMI to that module or any network that module exit. Okay. I have connected that HMI directly to that module and that is WP231 Siemens OEM module. Now you have to click on that setting. Okay. Now click on service and commissioning okay now go up service and commissioning okay 
click on the assign IP address it will scan for available device in the network ok IP address is setting directly at the device ok it's showing you can read it I will click on the IP address in the target subnet ok it is scanning it will show the connected device if it is has more device it will show that but now it will has only one device that is WP231 and IP address is 21 it is showing the MAC address here it is the IP address 192.168.0.1 and see the ok click you can change by your desired IP address ok I am setting it as a 25 later on I will going back to 21 for testing purpose I am selecting it 25 signal station name IP address is set ok if you go back and see the IP address ok scan accessible device in the network it is scanning ok it's found that IP address is now 25 ok by this way you can set the IP address from the ASMI also thank you